Hey folks, welcome to the first installment of our new segment, Gaming Gripes, where we basically talk about video games and kind of what bugs me about them. Today's topic, Castlevania. Now don't get me wrong, I love Castlevania. It's a great series. I love the 2Ds more than the 3Ds, but that's just me. But there's always been one thing that bothered me about the whole series. Why is it most of the Castlevanias, you use a whip? I mean, like, I understand it's a magical vampire killing whip, but why of all the weapons, a whip? I mean, sword makes sense, arrows make sense, stakes make sense. A whip, not so much. So, as I pondered this, and I thought to myself, why do the Belmonts use whips? Or just the one whip. And why do they keep using it when Dracula just keeps coming back every hundred years? So I thought long and hard about this. And then some things started to click in my head. And here's what I come, came up with. Dracula is into BDSM, And they cut a deal with the Belmont so that every hundred years they whip the shit out of his ass and he doesn't kill everyone on the planet. Yeah, that's right. It's all sexual. I mean, think about it. You got Dracula, pretty boy goth, pretty much dresses in all black, sometimes leather, I think. Speculation, not fact, but still pretty damn close. And then you got the way the Belmonts approach Dracula. I mean, let's think about this. If you were any real vampire, you wouldn't want to be killed, defeated, and sent away for 100 years. So, why do they do the setup they do in Castlevania? You've got a gauntlet of bosses that you got to fight through the whole castle to get. But then, when you finally get to Dracula, it's like, Okay, I'll walk up these stairs and, hey, the stairways are done. i got all this time to get some energy back and then fight Dracula. Every Dracula I've played has been like that. With the exception of the Nintendo DS, 3DS versions, and Symphony of the Night. But yeah, I mean, think about it. Boss fight, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. And then, climb some stairs to fight Dracula. Why don't those stairs have any enemies? I mean, shit, you've already been put through hell and back. No. You get an easy path to Dracula because you've already wasted all your energy trying to kill all those other monsters. You're dead tired by the time you get to Dracula. You whip him a few dozen times. He's sexually satisfied for a hundred years, so he goes away You've saved the world, your name looks good, and you've carried on the Belmont legacy. That's what I think. I think the only reason there's a whip in Castlevania and why it doesn't just kill, kill Dracula and why it keeps coming back every hundred years is because Dracula's a masochist. It's actually really funny because I um, made a fake magazine article about this a couple of years ago. I'll put it in the link below. Below. Check it out. It got rejected, but... I, it was pretty funny, so, you know, if you got a second, take a look. It's an interview with Def in his perspective. Alright, well, that's it for this Gaming Gripes. Next time, we'll find something else meaty, if not nerdy, to tear apart. Till then, later.